At just about any sushi restaurant in Japan, you can eat gluten-free. That's why as someone with celiac disease, when I go out to eat, sushi is my top choice. However, not all sushi is created equally. There are sushis out there that are not gluten-free and you cannot eat. Additionally, soy sauce does have wheat in it and is not gluten-free. So when you go to the restaurant, you'll have to deal with that. In this video, I will teach you how you can deal with the soy sauce issue, which sushi you should avoid, and which sushi you can enjoy. So if you want to unlock the ability to eat sushi gluten-free at any restaurant in Japan, or even the whole world, please stick around to the end of this video. So first off, we got the soy sauce issue. Soy sauce has wheat in it, it's not gluten-free. What am I gonna do? There are a few select fine establishments that do have gluten-free soy sauce, but in my experience, these are far and few between. So we need to deal with the soy sauce issue because everyone knows that sushi tastes the best when you take it and dip it in that soy sauce. So I have three recommendations on what you can do. Number one, raw dog the sushi. Just take that sushi and plop it in your mouth. It's not ideal, but you can still enjoy it this way. Number two, you can ask the chef for some salt. They'll just give you a little dish of salt and you can dip the sushi in. It's not as good as soy sauce, but I think it's better than nothing. Number three, and what I recommend is that you bring your own gluten-free soy sauce. So I just bought some packets like this on Amazon and I just bring these whenever I go to a restaurant. Alternatively, you could just buy a bottle of gluten-free soy sauce, bring it to the restaurant, you know, just have it like stuck in your pocket and then take it out, dip it. In my experience, I've had no issue bringing my own soy sauce to a sushi restaurant. Regardless of what you choose to do, I would inform the chef of your dietary restriction if you're not familiar with the restaurant. This is because maybe the restaurant likes to put the soy sauce on for you by brushing it. Some places do this. Or maybe there's some sushi that generally does not have a sauce on it that they do put a soy sauce on it. So just to make everyone's life easier, you should inform the staff of your gluten allergy. Some tips I have for doing this, if you tell the staff you're gluten free, they might not understand that. I found it's a lot easier to say I have a wheat allergy. And then I'll ask the staff, hey, does your soy sauce have wheat in it? And then they'll, they usually know, or if they don't know, they'll check the bottle and then they can easily understand what you can and cannot eat. So next I wanna talk about the sushi you should avoid. And to start this list, anything that has a sauce on it, I would just avoid altogether. Majority of the time, the sauce they put on top of sushi has wheat or soy sauce in it and is not gluten free. So as a rule of thumb, I just pretty much avoid all sushi I see that has a little sauce on top. This includes things like unagi, which almost always has a sauce on top. That sauce has wheat in it, you can't eat it, unfortunately. Sushi with teriyaki sauce. This is not really common in Japan, but maybe other parts of the world. Please watch out for the teriyaki sauce. And then aburi or seared sushi, where they take the blowtorch and shh. Generally, they put miso and ponzu on top of those sushi rolls, so you can't eat that. Instead, you can request that they put salt and lemon on it or mayonnaise. Both of those are gluten-free, and you can then enjoy the aburi sushi. And then finally, if the chef brushes soy sauce on top of the sushi, obviously you cannot eat that. There are some sushi places that prefer to serve the sushi in this style, but it's no problem. You can just tell the chef, hey, I have a soy sauce allergy, can you please serve without the soy sauce on top? And let me use my own soy sauce. I have had no issue doing this, and they've always been so understanding and accommodating and letting me use my own soy sauce. The next category of sushi that I would avoid is marinated sushi, and there are two main offenders in this category. The first being ikara, the little red little fish eggs. Those are usually marinated in soy sauce, and they're not gluten-free. I'm sure out there, there exists ikara that's not marinated, but in my experience, it almost always has been. So I generally just avoid this sushi altogether. The second being akamezuke. This is tuna. They take a piece of tuna and they just plop it in a vat of soy sauce and let it sit for a while. Obviously, you cannot eat this one as well. Finally, and a bit of a wild card, is sushi with pickled vegetables in it. Japanese pickled vegetables sometimes have soy sauce in it and sometimes do not. So whether or not you can eat these ones, I would definitely ask the staff beforehand. The main offender in this one is Torotaku, which actually I love. 
Next we have tamago or egg. I do not like this sushi, but some people love it. Usually the tamago does have wheat or soy sauce in it. So if you want to eat this egg sushi, please ask the staff beforehand. And lastly, pretty obvious is any sushi with tempura in it. Tempura is wheat, it's not gluten free. I'm sorry. And finally, we have the sushi you can eat. And this, I believe, is the majority of sushi. If it's just rice and fish, you can eat it. So all your tuna, salmon, ika, thai, squid, is all gluten free and you can enjoy. So I hope this video gave you a better understanding of which sushi is gluten free and which sushi is not gluten free. So when you go to a restaurant, you can be an informed gluten free consumer and not annoy the staff too much. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any other tips or other comments about gluten-free sushi, please let me know. Otherwise, please go out there and enjoy all the sushi you want in Japan.